Okay, so we've been working at uh, University of Waikato to carry out research to look at what effect the huge bubblers will have on the, on the water quality of the lake. Uh, part of that research involves going out beforehand and monitoring what the condition of the lake is, is before and then following that up with um, what condition the lake is after the bubblers are actually mixing and, and doing their job. Uh, the objective of the bubblers is really to shift water, uh, cold water at the bottom which generally sits under the warmer water at the surface and to mix that and therefore to reduce the occurrence of those low oxygen concentrations that will re result in nutrient releases from the bottom sediments and ultimately will stimulate algal blooms. So if you can mix the top and the bottom waters, you avoid those low oxygen concentrations and as a result you can potentially improve water quality. The other thing that we're looking at is to see whether uh, what, the, what the extent of that mixing is. In other words, uh, will the mixing occur and be active right throughout the whole main body of the lake or will it be confined to some extent to the um, just around the area where the two bubblers are installed. Uh, our, our work beforehand has indicated that uh, we've got the right sizing of those bubblers to be able to mix a large part of the, the water column right through the uh, entire, entire main body of the lake. So um, the bubblers going in, we'll be doing some monitoring and follow up We'll be using a lake buoy to help us and um, look at the things in real time and uh, take a series of readings of temperature and oxygen and algal concentrations.